Ah, greetings one and all. Welcome back to the easy and delicious kitchen today. A bit more home cooking. So today I'm going to be making, um, yeah, just a fairly simple meal. I've actually, um, yeah, managed to source a couple of really nice, um, thickly cut, uh, superb looking eye fillet steaks here. Um, so I'm going to be cooking them up for lunch. And, yeah, I'm actually going to wrap some bake, wrap them in some bacon. Um, yeah, cook them up. And probably make a nice uh, creamy garlic wine mustard sauce to go with them. So how's that sound? So lucky me for lunch. And yeah, I mean, this meat sort of speaks for itself. It's just um, awesome. So without further ado, I've got some um, streaky bacon here. That I've got ready to go here. So I'm just going to wrap it... Um, around the edge of my steak like so and as you can see it doesn't quite um, make it all the way around so I'm going to have to get another bit and push that to the gap get it around, try and get it reasonably tight the bacon will shrink a bit but then again so will the steak a bit so yeah that's looking pretty good all the way around as such and just to hold that in I'm just gonna whack a couple of toothpicks into it on that side yeah, and just one on the um yeah, just on the other side here where the second layer wraps around push it right in and that's gonna hold it in place so Obviously I'm going to do that with that one as well, but just um, to show you, very simple here, I'm just going to season it with a little bit of salt, not as much as you probably normally do because that bacon is um, going to add a bit of salt too, just a bit of cracked black pepper, just a bit of over, get it done both sides. simple as that. So that's one done, I'll get the other one done, get my uh, fry pan ready to go and we'll get to cooking. Alrighty, so um, yeah just in my fry pan here just to start with I've just got a little bit of um, oil that I've heated up and um, yeah just going to start our steaks in that. Yeah, medium to high heat uh, is best. And to that pan, I'm going to add a couple of big knobs of butter. And yeah, just get them around there, let that melt down. Yeah, guys, so once our butter's melted down there a bit, um, yeah, I'm just going to add a stick of rosemary to that butter and also just a one clove of garlic that I've just sort of bashed with the back with the handle of my knife. So get that into um, that butter. We're just basically flavouring up that butter. Alright guys, um, yeah, just an update on how these steaks are going. I did actually have to um, change over to my induction heater here. As per usual, that electric um, electric hob wasn't up to the task to get my um, pan up to speed, but this is working good now. So yeah, probably five minutes or so each side. And then, um, yeah, maybe even try and crisp up the sides a little bit. We'll see how we go. Yeah, so that's been about five minutes. Getting some nice colour on that. And what we can do also is just um, prepare Make a bit of that rosemary garlic butter over it.
Just while well, I've got that pan with the nice uh, flavoured butter in there, in there, um, I've just taken the meat off for a sec, and I'm just going to um, quickly just sauté a few uh, asparagus as well. Garlic and rosemary flavour all over. Yum. Smelling good. Yeah guys, so I've just popped my um, steaks and asparagus here into a uh, four wine oven tray so I'm just going to whack this into a preheated oven that's about 180 degrees just for uh, five minutes or so um, yeah, depending on how you want your steaks done, I'm aiming for medium Alrighty guys, yeah, so I've got my same um, pan here, I've just emptied a, a fair bit of that butter out that was sort of burning a little bit added a little bit of fresh butter and because now we're going to make our sauce in that same pan so first of all I'm just going to add about two grated up uh, bits of garlic just mix that through just to that I'm just going to add a splash of white wine just a little bit probably about a quarter of a cup and that'll just help deglaze the pan as well. So just let that cook through for a minute or two, cook that alcohol off. Um, smells good. So what I'm going to add here next is I've actually got some Dijon mustard. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of that. So um, that's a couple of heat ones like so. Also some whole grain mustard, so I've got two different types, and yeah, just the same amount, like so. Mix them through. Now, um, yeah, once our um, mustard sauce here started bubbling away a little bit, it's starting to simmer. Our wine as well. Last thing to add to our sauce is just about, yeah, probably about a third of a cup of cream. And I'll probably just, even though that hob's not very hot, I'm still going to turn it down a little bit and just, just bring that cream to the gentlest of little simmers and just let it cook through for a minute or two and that's our sauce now in the meantime while I've been making this sauce guys I've actually pulled my steaks out of the um, oven and I've just got them resting so you need to let them rest for um, at least half the time that you are uh, half the cooking time just to cook them taste that yet yeah. tasting awesome so guys this is nearly ready I'll um, put this together shortly and get back to you alrighty guys yeah so I've plated this up now um, yeah looking pretty good really happy with my sauce um, asparagus is nice and charred there I also did some just some um, easy smashed potatoes so yeah just to make them I just boiled a couple of whole potatoes um, dried them out, smashed them a bit with a fork, put a bit of butter and oil on top of them and then just baked them, so that's them, easy peasy, but let's try a bit of the steak first um, yeah, let's see how it's how it's cooked I've got a feeling it's going to be slightly over, but I'm not 100% sure let's see what we got there oh no, beautiful absolutely beautiful That's nice and medium rare. That is perfecto. So let's try a bit with the sauce. Just be careful those toothpicks, like, yeah, pull them out. But I know where they are, so I'm not going to chomp into a toothpick. Um, so I'm going to try a bit with my mustard sauce here. Don't know if 
if that looks going to focus or not. Looking good. Oh, no, guys. Mm. Oh, my goodness. That steak. Wow. That steak is so good. It is. It's a cliche, but in this case, it's true. It is literally melting in my mouth. And I put some of that down to the quality of the meat. Um, look, I know some of you are probably watching this or wherever. You're not where I am, but. If any of you guys are watching this in Toowoomba, give Tony's Continental Small Goods, um, Continental Meat and Small Goods, Tony's anyway, Tony's Butchers in Toowoomba, everyone's heard of it. Absolutely fantastic meat. And yeah, no, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. Don't even get a free snag off them. But you know, you just got to shout out to quality when you get it. And it's cooked pretty nice, if I do say so myself. Uh, just lovely. The mustard sauce is delicious. Mustard cream wine sauce. <laughs> Try a bit of the asparagus too while I'm here. Very nice. Alright guys, thanks for watching this. Mm. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this now. Um, all those that have subscribed to the channel, thank you, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, um, yeah, can I just ask that you consider hitting that subscribe button? Doesn't cost anything, helps me out a bit, just keeps my interest going, but um, no worries, we don't want to. And I'll see you all next time.